power grab via a military coup. Abdel Fattah el-Sisi's presidency was sealed in 2014 with 97% of the vote after a lengthy crackdown on political opposition. That led many to question the legitimacy of that election. With more than 60,000 people now in prison, including many of Sisi's opponents, another election is happening. Is history repeating itself? What change will Egypt's election bring, if any? The 2018 presidential election is all but a done deal. All of Sisi's major opponents are believed to have been intimidated out of the race. Just one other candidate is running against him, Musa Mustafa Musa. He is a Sisi loyalist. Critics say all he offers in the election is a veneer of democracy. He insists he is no puppet. The hardline leader, as head of the army, Sisi oversaw Egypt's worst massacre. The army shot and killed more than 800 protesters in Cairo in 2013. As president, he sought to silence opponents, starting with a ban on the Muslim Brotherhood. The crackdown on opposition has endured throughout Sisi's presidency. Prisons now have three times as many people inside as they were built for. Human Rights Watch has claimed an ongoing what it calls epidemic of torture inside the prisons and what it calls an assembly line of abuse. CC's strongman politics have not always worked in his favor. He has not been able to stamp out Daesh from Sinai. An investigation has claimed that he secretly allowed Israel to conduct more than 100 airstrikes on Egypt's territory against Daesh. And Egyptian protesters called him a traitor after he handed over Egypt's Red Sea Islands to Saudi Arabia. Is Sisi's grip on power slowly starting to wane? And could this eventually galvanize opposition? Or will Egypt's status quo continue for another four years?